Um, today's break is going to be score 93 baseball. Um, very cool product, obviously, because you can pull the, the Jeter. And I don't think it's the toughest set. So there are 36 packs and tons and tons of cards to get to. So I'm going to break the packs off camera. And then we'll just flip through the cards and see um, how we do. So there's the stack. So I'm going to cut out and then we'll get to the break after the cards are out of the packs. All right. So uh, three stacks of cards here. Um, we'll just flip through these. Here's the, the carnage from the breaking them open all the packs inside the box. Um, we'll flip through these and hopefully it'll be a Jeter um, and some other slab candidates in this. Um, there are some Hall of Famers, you know, obviously I'd probably slab like a Frank Thomas or a Ken Griffey or I think I think a Piazza second year is in here too. Um, and then um, I'll probably put some of the stars from the box in my store um, for 50 cents in the bargain bin. I'm thinking about doing a bin called the uh, closeout bin and that'll be 25 cent cards. So if, if you're a person that likes binders and stuff like that and picking up um, cards that aren't necessarily, you know, that valuable. I think you'll be able to get some good deals in my store, Luis Gonzalez, because the way it's set up on uh, uh, eBay is, is a Darren Dalton, is, uh, I guess I'll sleeve this pocket and bonds. Um, the lowest you can charge for a card is 99 cents, and there's just car cards, not all cards are worth 99 cents, obviously, but um, I think if I could get people to pick up cards for 25 cents it sounds like a hassle on my end but there are some pros to doing that as you get a lot of feedback etc and you move stuff that you definitely wouldn't move for a dollar for 25 cents or 50 cents so check out the uh, store if you guys see anything out of this you like I do have the scanner where I can upload quickly this, this is what the uh, design looks like so it was a cool little Frank Thomas. So that, that'd be a perfect card to put in the store for 25 or 50 cents. League leaders probably just pitch that. I don't know if anybody wants the the base from this stuff. Larry Walker. There's just so much of it. But if you're a set collector, you just feel like having a good time, not worrying about hits and money and all that. You can have fun with this. So this is like score select. Like a... I think that's a 92 design they're using. I don't know why they did that. But there's the doubles leaders. Those are two great players right there. Frank Thomas and Edgar. Um, this is a clean design by score. It kind of looks like the score we have now. The score football that we currently get. There's another Viscal and Clemens. Um, there's like a group of Hall of Famers that had cards in this period that I like to try to slab. Um, Thomas Griffey. I'd say Puckett. Bonds, Gwynn, Ripken, uh, Nolan Ryan. So there's a bunch of guys out of this time frame that uh, I definitely think about slapping their base cards. There's a Rick Helling. He was a pretty good pitcher for the Rangers. That was a, I think that was the last year they wore those T with the T hat. And then they went to the more modern look. Alright, so let's go to the second stack. Um... I think I broke one of these on camera about a year ago or, or so, and I think we got one Jeter out of it, so it's kind of pricey though. I mean, if you think about how much is a, a Jeter from this worth raw, five bucks, maybe seven. There's a Lofton, and you're paying 40 bucks for the box. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I guess you're doing it for the, it's it's fun too, and you and you get other cards out of it. So here's a franchise, uh, Mattingly. This is, he, he's another player that I slab, I like to slab sometimes. See that top right corner? I mean, it's just out of the pack like that. You can't do anything about that. But that was the franchise. That, there's one of those cartoonish Bonds cards. An Eck. That's neat. I don't think I have that. I'm, I'm going to put together my Frank Thomas binder here soon. Uh, my Griffey one's completed, and I'm just kind of adding to it. Uh, Com is a great place. I found a pickup. Obscure cards I don't have for it. There's another rookie, Benji Grigsby. So you don't get a ton of the rookies, so the Jeter might be a tough pull. I'm going to still say that, that that we pull one, and I'm going to guess it's in nine shape. That, that's my guess for this break. So 
I think breaking the packs off camera is a nice touch just to uh, get some of the monotony out of the break. There's a Griffey Dream Team. That's neat. And you get a, a bunch of these score select inserts. Larry Walker. Thought that was Eric Davis. Kind of looked like him. There's a Jose Mesa. That's a young Mesa. Pete Janicki. Eck. We got an Alomar. We're going kind of fast. There's Will Clark. Ozzy. Another rookie, BJ Wallace. Stuck to a doubles leaders. That's a Vaz. Dean Palmer, he was a beast. Jamie Arnold, draft pick. Moving pretty good through this stuff. <clears throat> Charles Nagy. There's a Tommy Glavin. Most valuable player. I think that's an insert. And that's just part of the base set. There's a Bonds. Dave Winfield. There's another one. Whoops. <laughs> that one's not getting slapped. Uh, another one of those franchise inserts, which is a neat, neat one. There's a Jeter. There it is, boys and girls. Uh, there's our Jeter, so we can't complain. Looks pretty good. I mean, all the cards look good from this box. So I'll uh, maybe I'll post that on the uh, gram, and uh, I'll let you guys know uh, what grade I think it is. Obviously, that's not doesn't mean that's what it's gonna get. But I can usually narrow things down with the cards I send in. Uh, so, we, so we're off the schneid. There's a yacht with the Jeter. And if you think about it, if you pull a clean Jeter out of this, uh, I think a mint nine is probably 20 bucks or so. Um, that's half the box right there. There's a Maddox. Joe Carter. There are some other uh, new products coming out that I want to break on the camera for people to see. Um, baseball tops and uh, tops heritage. And then uh, basketball. There's a ton of stuff I want to break. I want to do contenders, select, optic, just a ton of stuff dropping here in the next couple of weeks. There's a Maddox insert, Pudge. That's a third-year Pudgy. Uh, solid player, definitely not a Hall of Famer, but here's Tim Salmon, Eric Caros, <clears throat> Crime Dog. <laughs> There's an Eric Wedge. He was a manager. He managed the Indians, right? Another Conseco, Messina. Uh, I think I think Messina was around 50-60% for the haul. So there's a chance he sneaks in there sooner or later. David Need, big time prospect. I don't know why I just love breaking boxes from 1993. <laughs> it's such, it's right in the middle. Of, I mean, it's dead center junk wax products, but they're just fun to me. Sean Lowe. There's a big Mac. I don't typically grade Mac low-end stuff just because he doesn't have a ton of hobby because of the steroids. He's kind of in the same boat as uh, Alex Rodriguez. There's a, another Pudgy. Pudgy all great. I, I consider him one of the best catchers to play. Him and Piazza. So. Dave Justice. Darren Dalton, who passed away... It was within the past six months to a year, I want to say. There's Movon. Ozzy. So there's a ton of neat cards here. I mean, these are great binder cards. There's a Piazza. It's a second year piece. I call him Peace because when I used to watch Sports Center, the late, great Stuart Scott, back when I was a kid, Piazza had that sweet swing. He would say Peace, you know, right when the bat hit the ball. So I've always just kind of remembered that from my childhood. There's a Griffey. That doesn't look like him at all, but good effort. That's a weird picture. <laughs> you you can tell it's 1993 in these pictures. Pat Lestache. He, he won the Rookie of the Year. 
in 92 or 93. Tom Glavin stuck to a Brady Anderson. There's a Pedro, I'm going to call it second year. I don't count his uh, 91 Upper Deck Final Edition as a rookie card because um, it's kind of like an XRC to me. So uh, 92 is kind of where I consider Pedro's rookie year. He doesn't have a ton of stuff to get either. He's got the Bowman, which is a great looking card because he's not in like his senior pictures stuff like uh, Mariano. See, that's a card that has a ton of value, but I would never spend money on it just because I don't like the way it looks. Looks like a fashion magazine card or something. It's a creepy card. The uh, Manny from that looks weird too. And this is a cool card for a binder as a Royals fan. Brett breaks 3,000. Last stack. So we're going to sit right around uh, 11 minutes on this video, which isn't terrible for a junk wax break. There's a Sandberg, a Larkin. So I'll probably go through these and pick out a few I want to send in and get slabbed. And then uh, the commons, I don't know. I'll put them in the box. Somebody wants them in the video. I could send them out. Media mail. It cost me a few bucks, but that's fine. Another Sandberg. There's a Tony Gwynn. Definitely love Tony Gwynn cards. <clears throat> Pucket. And we're down to the end. So that's it, guys. Uh, fun break. We, we did get the Jeter. Right there. And then we had a stack of uh, notables right here. So there's tons of stuff to go through after the break. I can flip through these puppies pretty fast. Um, so that's it for this one. Um, I'll get this one uploaded and I got some more plans for tonight. That's it.